Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my friend, Refai, if you guys don't know. Now, today the video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a vlog, post-quarantine vlog to be exact. Uh, we've been spending a lot of time at home, both um, my friend and I, and um, we haven't been quite out and running because the city has been closed. So um, not a lot of workouts, not a lot of training, not a lot of adventures out there. And he's a very adventurous guy. So we are very excited to get in touch, to work out together, to train again together and um, find an open park. And hopefully maybe we can, you know, have a little bit of fun in this quiet afternoon. And I'm having my pre-workout right now. It's a simple boiled mung beans with uh, nothing. <laughs> Just to make it simple, easy, I can down my food, get some energy, high nutrient, good enough amount of protein, healthy carbs, I can crack on and continue with my day. To hell with taste, it's about all those gains. <laughs> now, this is downtown, if um, you're wondering. This is downtown Jakarta on a Sunday, where usually this time around without the um, pandemic happening this supposed to be this is this is the area where it's supposed to be very crowded with cars people are going in um, entering shopping malls and restaurants and having their uh, weekend getaways with their families and friends hang out chilling you know the usual ordeal and this is the downtown area where people used to come out and around here are one of the biggest um, office towers in the city and near that is also five stars hotel and restaurants surrounding the area and to have this particular part of town rather empty in this time of week is pretty strange you know coming from a very crowded city having a change of pace with population can disturb your mind in a sense i don't know but but here usually people are crossing the road people are um, driving in people are walking on the sideways but now it's rather empty and to kick start to be in tune back to to the world with our training routine with our work with our daily lives especially having quarantine and even even driving feels weird sitting on the steering wheel if you haven't drove for about a month feels weird now this is one of the areas of the city that has an open park the amounts of the people that come in are still limited but it is well maintained because of the low human activity and we are um, ready to crack on with his training routine first so um, my friend called me and he told me oh look, look i want to show you something they still put lines on the children's park so that nobody can enter to limit the population coming in it's it's that strict and it's you know it's funny to see so he called me basically um he called me and told me look i want to change i want to get more fit i want to be strong i want to cycle better cycle stronger um i want to lose some weight i want to get in shape could you please help me and I said, yeah, for sure, man, definitely. So um, we've been at it for a couple of weeks. And now this is one of one of our sessions. Um, this is his warm up. Basically, it's just a 20 repetition step up left and right. No biggie. But as we can see, he's already sweating and already having um, fatigue setting in. Despite having a really good cardio. <laughs> so... Strength training is relatively new to him, but he has a foundation. He has a good foundation of sports. So what we're trying to do is just to put him in a better shape, let's say, in a more advanced shape. So he's very motivated. He, he's looking forward to changing his diet and lifestyle and also routine to be a lot more strength-based lifestyle, to gain more muscle, lose more fat, look fitter, be stronger and be overall healthy and he's a very dedicated guy he is focused he also is um yes as you can see he's a little bit overweight but he's very motivated so that's great 
Now the first round we are going to start off with a, a squat to a walking hand, shoulder tap, and then walk back to a squat and then push up. So this will be around 20 reps for him. This is already a challenge, but he do not know. He does not know that I will give an extra on the second round. So basically what I'm trying to maintain here is his leg strength his stability and also his core, definitely. And he has a little bit of a shoulder problem because he's holding the steering wheel of the um, bicycle quite a lot, a little bit a little bit of uh, stiffness on the left shoulder area. So we're trying to tap in that. <laughs> he's feeling a little bit of a stiffness right there, but um, he's pretty strong. And, and his, his, um, his plank is perfect. Now, even though with a good cardiovascular strength, he is still sweating and he can down 20 kilometers easy. He can um, cycle uphill, downhill with quite above average speed. And he is a great cyclist, but yet with a basic strength training exercise, he is still having a hard time to compose himself, which is great. <laughs> Good job, bro. Good job. Now after that first round, we will always end things with a 400 meter run, maybe 300 meter run with a light jog. As you can see here, his posture is a little bit fatigued at the moment, but I will show you the magic of uh, strength training on how this will actually change his posture on the upcoming rounds, just with a, with a couple of exercises. And it's amazing. And he has a little bit of an issue with his feet because he's flat footed. So he's not so much of a jogging person. And um, we are thinking of improving that area, making sure he steps in correctly, jog properly, and in turn, uh, create a better footing, healthier footing per se. So he's back <laughs> and he's sweating, ready for round two. Now round two will be slightly different. I'm adding a push up on the first 10 reps and the next 10 reps would be just bare shoulder touches. So um, as you can see, he's a, he has a proper plank position, but we have to work on his chest. His um, shoulders are still flaring. His elbows are still flaring. It's not yet chest focused, chest dominant. So he's still learning, but uh, he has a good foundation. So. He's catching up pretty quickly. And by now, he is breathing like crazy. And his, his cycling suit is already soaked. <laughs> but he said his shoulders are feeling better. So that's great. That's an improvement. His squat is pretty steady. His, um, his plank is still solid. He's just out of breath. But see, this is the thing, guys. Um, you can be overweight. You can be slightly obese, out of shape, but it does not mean that you can't. It really depends on where you're starting, it really depends on how motivated you are. Doing something is better than doing nothing. And if this guy who, who is slightly overweight, even though not bad, but we know that he's overweight, he's still, he's still looking beyond that. He's still looking beyond his condition of body because he wants to be better and he knows he can be better. He is actually very developed in his legs. As you can see, his quads and his, his um, calves, it has, it has a great shape. <laughs> he's just dying right now. So he's going back to his run and look, I wanna show you something very special. Um, his posture of running has changed. He become a lot more upright and a lot more stiff and retracted and a lot more stable and, and his strides are better now. Just with just one session with a proper form, a proper form can really change a whole aspect of a physiology. And we're very proud of that. But sadly, <laughs> the park is closed, so I cannot play around here. I cannot do tricks. I cannot do my capoeira. It's pretty sad, but well, what can you do? I just have to be patient. It's a good afternoon. Oh, he, he, he's back, he's back. Okay, so now it's round three. Round three would be more push-up. So it's all 20 repetition of a squat to walking hand, 
and a push up and then walk hand back and to a squat up so that will be one repetition and we'll repeat that for 20 times and then we go back to the running now his form is getting better but his squat is getting tired mind you he has been cycling this morning but it doesn't mean that he has a lack of energy he has eaten i've told him to eat i've told him to make sure that he's well energized but as you can see his legs are already giving out so then um he's starting to try to compose himself again um the beauty of strength training is strength training can really expose your weak points can really expose your um lacking areas and it can specifically target to improve those areas and create a better fitness for your overall health your any sport that you play really and for um a better context it actually does improve your overall endurance towards whatever sport it is that you do because not only the cardiovascular aspect that you get but also the strength aspect your bone your cartilages your your muscle definitely your um connective tissues especially and strengthening your body overall will protect you from any kind of issues coming into the future now i really want him to feel this push up so i want him to not flare his shoulders and i want him to square up his hands around his chest area so that he'll frame his arm around the chest instead of putting it a little bit up and letting the shoulders do most of the work so that um, his chest will much more handle his body weight when he's cycling especially when he's sprinting with a cycle when he's putting his body forward to the handle it will be a lot more steady and i told him it's okay if you arch first before you lift your body as long as your chest and your triceps are the one fundamentally forcing yourself to lift up and there are, is a lady doing a photo shoot behind us i don't know who that is but it's a little bit annoying and they're kind of loud but anyways back to the workout i bet i can bet he's actually kind of muscular under all those body fat, subcutaneous fat that is. And I am very excited and I can't wait. And we can't wait to see what's underneath that body. His legs are well developed. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's, he's strong at the basis. He has a good foundation of strength. And I would like to see what kind of physique that this man holds inside him. And he's also a good friend of mine. So, you know, he's doing really great. We're very proud of the results so far. Um, now, we're trying to emphasize on the chest, like I said today. Uh, I told him again, like I said, I want you to focus the weight on your chest, not the shoulders. And now he's feeling it. He's feeling the, the, <laughs> the weight. Now he can't push up. He's feeling that resistance. And he uh, said that his shoulders are feeling better now, which is great, which is what we're looking for. So a great session and a great afternoon. Now this is Lars, his last rep. Let's see how it goes. Boom. Good, good job, good job. Oh no, no, this is actually his last rep. Not bad, a little bit of arch, but it's emphasizing on the chest. It's great. Wait, is this the last rep? Oh yeah, it is. Now we go back to the running. Now, his running is a lot more composed. His strides are further forward and um, he has a good cardiovascular reach. So jogging is not really a problem, but oh, look at that, a better form, a better speed. Um, he doesn't really like to jog. His thing is bicycling, so we have to work on, on the running aspect just to make it full complete. Now we are done, we are walking, we're having our um, chill time. And this is the public park. This is actually a, re a really big public park and usually people are crowding up in this place. But now it's 
rather empty. Um, the security is putting up about 200 people at max. So people are just lining up, um, trying to get in, while at the same time keeping distance, putting in the data, getting in their temperatures in check. Uh, but they have a limit and they only have one way in so that everybody can get get um, a full a full information tucked in so that if one of them gets sick everyone can you know uh, get a record of it so anyways i finished my workout i really like to record my training because it's a discipline thing and i like to keep my head in focus but on top of that, it's time for us to eat. Now, this is a classic Manadonese stall. Um, that's a fish with chili sauce. One of my favorites. That is fried chicken. That's egg curry with squid. That's fish eggs curry. It's amazing. So many different kinds of uh, animal protein sources. Now, I'm going to go eat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon.